Hey Dolls, it's Kenny here and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, hey girl. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another video. So y'all, I am gonna show y'all in this video on how I cut my bobs on a canvas head. So as y'all can see, I've already measured out my canvas head. You wanna have it at nine inches from the bottom. So I got my wig here and I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the canvas head. And I like to place it maybe about a half an inch in front of the head hairline because most people don't place it on their hairline they place it a little before so you want to make sure that you account for that also dolls make sure you're lining the part up with the center of the canvas head because you just want to make sure everything is even everything is lined up everything is good okay so I went ahead and pinned down the back you want to make sure that you are accounting for the front to back measurement as well so now that we got this baby pinned down, what I like to do is just go in and silk press it out or flat iron it straight. I don't put a bump, I don't put anything in this, I don't put nothing, I just make it really, really straight. I just press it straight because you don't wanna put a bump in it because when you go to pretty much cut it, you don't want any unevenness. So I like to just go in and just flat iron it bone straight. Now dolls, while y'all flat ironing the hair, just make sure you're not using too much of that heat protecting spray because girl, if you use too much of that, it's not gonna be weightless. Like you're not gonna have that body yaddy yaddy. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure you don't use too much of that spray. So I'm just showing y'all real quick how flat you want your wig at the top. I mean, girl, you want it flatter than flat. I mean, baby, on flat, flat, okay? Like it's just one of those things. If your wig is not flat at the top, it's not gonna cut the way you want period it's just not so I used my hot comb on 450 degrees and I just made sure that I just did it in sections to make sure that the wig is on flat now dolls you done still pressed her out and so now we are ready to pin down these measuring tapes now girl I was tired I mean and I repeat tired of creating bobs and then it takes me so long to get it even and when you don't have a real person in front of you baby like girl it is very difficult so I came up with this technique to kind of help me get it as even as possible so that, you know, while I'm cutting, it's as even as I can get it. Hey girl. <laughs> and then also too, it's light cleanup work. Like I want slight work when it comes to getting it even. So I use these measuring tapes. Specifically, I always cut less so you can always cut up. Like if you take hair off, ain't no putting it back on. Baby, ain't no putting it back on. Once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> so I like to just go in and leave a little bit more. So this bob is actually a 12 inch, but I left a little bit more. So just in case I need to cut it a little bit shorter, I'm already good to go. Okay, dolls, so I've already removed the measuring tapes. Y'all wanna make sure those are even on your canvas head. As y'all can see, I took my time putting them on. So now you're gonna go in with your clippers. Y'all saw me cut in front of the measuring tape and back of the measuring tape and then remove them and then now we good to go. Make sure you're also like cutting at eye level. As y'all can see, I'm kind of like peeking into the you know, frame. I'm not meaning to, but you wanna make sure that you're cutting at eye level. Otherwise, it's just not gonna come out right. So you just wanna make sure you're combing through, making sure everything is even. I start on one side, get about halfway, and then start on the other side. As y'all can see, I'm just taking my time and just making sure everything is as even as I can get it. So now we're here and clearly there's a discrepancy in the length here. <laughs> So I like to just go in and figure out which side is longer. As y'all can see, I knew clearly what side was longer. And so I'm going in and I'm just cleaning it up. But as y'all can see, it is very minimal. Like the cleanup is like slight work, okay? So I was happy that I just don't have so much to figure out. It's very clear on where the cut needs to be made. Sometimes dolls, after combing it out, you may see some uneven sections. And this one I did a little bit and it was specifically in the back towards the nape. So as y'all can see, I'm just going in and cleaning that up. And y'all know I'm a perfectionist so I had to make sure everything was right. Okay dolls, so this part is super important, okay? So I only cut my wigs on 
this wig stand. Like, I swear by this wig stand. I absolutely love it because it gets the job done, okay? So y'all see all those extra hairs. Those need to be cut off, period. Like, if you tilt your head in a bob, you do not want to see this at all. You don't want those type of problems, okay? So I will leave all the deets to this wig stand as well as the other products that I use in my description bar below. But as y'all can see, I'm just going in and I'm cutting off all those extra hairs. Now I am going in with my comb, my rat tail comb, and just making sure that everything is straight so that I can see it. So basically you just want to follow your previous cut. Like I'm not guessing, there's no guesswork involved. You already see the hairs that you cut when it was sitting up right. So now that it's angled, you're just gonna cut up until that point. That's it girl. You just wanna follow your previous cuts. Now that we've got everything cut, I just like to go in with my shears and just make sure everything is clean. I like a clean, crisp, cut, blunt bob, honey. I just love it. So that's just one of those things. I just like to cut off any little pieces and sometimes that can happen when you're using clippers. So that's why I just like to go in with my shears and just make sure everything is pretty much even. Dolls, we are finally done cutting her. So I like to just go in with my flat irons. I particularly love my pretty posh. I love those uh, flat irons still. They are still in full effect, okay? So I just like to go in with my flat irons and I don't believe I use any heat protectant spray. We've already done that part. And so I just go in and bump them. I bump the ends. I don't curl them too much i just like to go in and bump them and y'all sometimes you'll see maybe a little unevenness again remember i'm a perfectionist so i just like to go in and just make sure that the cut is still clean so as y'all can see i'm just picking out some gray hairs that i see i like to do that before i send that out to my clients and y'all we are pretty much done like i'm just going in and making sure everything is bumped and everything looks good but we're pretty much done since I will be shipping out this wig dolls, I like to go ahead and use a light wrapping foam just to go ahead and make sure all the hairs are in place. I do not like flyaways. And during the shipping process, baby girl, you don't know what happens, okay? So I like to just make sure that I put the wrapping foam on my baby hairs and then also on the uh, top of the wig just to make sure that everything stays in place. And then I go ahead and just put that under the dryer, I wanna say for about 15, 20 minutes. So dolls, this is the final result. As y'all can see, like, oh my gosh, I love her. She is so freaking pretty. She is giving me body yaddy yaddy. Like, I want to put her on, but I know I got to ship her out. I feel this way every time I ship out a wig. I got to get it together. But I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If y'all have any questions, just make sure you leave them below. I love y'all so much. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. And I will see y'all in my next one. Later. Get to my, 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 my.